Okay, so I'm here in the golf cart and I'm gonna take y'all on a little adventure and uh, tell you a little story. I'm gonna tell you a story about fear, something that happened to me, how we shouldn't fear things until they've happened and then even when they've happened, you might be surprised. So here I am at the old park I used to bring y'all to. This is all newly constructed. We've got a little road that goes in this way and you go out over there. It's really nice in here. The little trail goes all through. It's really nice. But there you go. There's like eight picnic tables in there. And I'm really excited to come up here. As you can see, there's hardly anybody. Well, there's only one person here. There's a golf cart down there. He just pulled in in front of me. Oh, he's backing out. Anyway, I just want to bring my Bible study out here and sit in the peace and quiet early in the morning at one of these tables. I think it'll be so amazing. And, uh, but my thoughts about this whole place did not start out that way. Okay, seriously, y'all, that golf cart, she's the neighborhood busybody. And she was stopping to check and see what the heck I was doing. Like, what am I going to do? Okay, here's the story. I've shown y'all that ramp over there. That's the ramp that is private for our part of the little section of the neighborhood that's not on the water. And uh, we've used it for years, blah, blah, blah. So what happened was years ago, I was walking down the street and there was a sign. We had only had our house about a year and there was a sign in front of this property that said rezoning for rec recreational use. And I'm like, rezoning, recreation, what the heck are they gonna do? Because this was just all woods. And this was our private entrance. Well, it goes on and on to say that never trust your city council because the whole neighborhood on both sides of the creek were fighting this because what happened was they decided to make a public boat ramp. Now, as you know, if you've watched me at all, this is the end of nowhere where I live. The bay is right there and there's water on this side and water on that side of our neighborhood. So the thought of being having a public boat dock that's going to go down our little tiny streets was terrible. But the reason it had to be public instead of just neighborhood is because they were using money that they received years ago from the BP oil spill, if you remember that. Okay, long story short, everybody fought it. City Council, uh, we all showed up for a big meeting one night and they counted, the, they were on their cell phone. One woman was on her cell phone and suddenly they didn't have a quorum. So they wouldn't listen to any of our complaints. I mean, it went on and on. We got lawyers involved, lost the case. Just some reason they passed that the City Council on their own of this tiny, teeny, tiny neighborhood could build a public boat dock here. Well, we fretted and fretted and we just, it was awful and everybody was dreading it. But then 2020 happened and it didn't, and the boat dock didn't happen. So we were like, fantastic. Okay, in case Miss Busybody comes back, I've decided to walk y'all up here and sit on one of the picnic tables to tell the rest of the story. Then, like last year, we saw that there was construction down here and all this kind of stuff going on and we figured out the boat dock is happening and we were so worried because they only have five places in here for a truck and a trailer to park after you drop your boat in and then you park there's only five spots and everyone was saying the whole county is going to be coming here because it's such a great place and we have the little beach on the water and there's just not a lot of that around here. So I will say they did put nice picnic tables in. So we were upset and everything. Okay, so the whole thing gets built. They have this grand opening, which nobody hardly came to because everybody was so furious about the city council. If you have a city council in your town, you better pay attention because they can do anything. And if you wanna know how I know that, I know it from experience here, but I also know it from friends that live in Austin, Texas. It's, they're out of whack there. Their city council's out of control and they're crazy too. So I'm just saying that. Anyway, so 
the boat dock opens and Scott's on Facebook on our little neighborhood um, Facebook page. And all of a sudden, within three or four days, people are complaining about the boat dock. And they're saying it wasn't built right and all this stuff is wrong. And this man tried to put his pontoon boat in and it almost crashed. And it was just like, and I was like, what's going on? So before you know it, it all comes out. The people that built the ramp, when they came out and inspected and were ready to put the ramp part in of the boat launch, they told city council, it's not deep enough. You will not be able to launch all, anything but tiny boats here. It's not deep enough. It's not the proper spot. You can't do it here. Well, guess what? The city council didn't care, spent all that money, and now the boat dock is almost useless. <laughs> we have never seen more than one. In fact, we've only seen one boat out one day that parked here. So my point is all the things the neighborhood was dreaming up of all the traffic that would be here because, and we only say this because this has happened in another small little town with beautiful little homes and they built a public boat dock and there were trailers parked, like 20 trailers in a row parked on their streets and it was horrible. So everyone said, it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be like that. And this is an even better spot so we were convinced our neighborhood was just gonna have, first of all, there would be trash people left here. There would be um, hooligans down here. <laughs> and yes, I do sound like I'm a senior citizen because I am. And mainly it was the problems of thinking about the traffic and people parking in front of everybody's, you know, pulling their big truck and trailer in front of everybody's houses here in this quiet little street. Like we're only like five houses from this. So we were gonna be affected. Well, it all worked out in the end, you know? I mean, I hate that the money was wasted, but now this little spot is so beautiful for walking and you can walk around the whole thing and they tracked it. I think it's a third of the mile if you walk around the whole thing so you know how far you're walking. And um, so, all that worrying for nothing, it didn't happen. I mean, it happened, but the fear that we all had didn't happen. And that's my little lesson for today, is don't always think that if something that you dread actually happens, sometimes it's not as bad. Sometimes it's worse, I grant you that. But sometimes it's totally unexpected of the outcome. No one thought they were gonna build a boat dock that was too, sh a boat ramp that was going to be too shallow. So anyway, I'm going to walk you onto the ramp and show you some other crazy things they did that everybody's like, this does not make sense. But that's what happens when you have a few people in power in a tiny little town. That's not even a town. I think to be called a town, you have to have at least a stop and go or a gas station. God forbid we get any of that out this far, but we probably will because our area is exploding in growth. Okay, here we go on here. And um, this they had to obviously leave natural because of, you know, all the rules. But look y'all, there's no railing at all, which I mean, I guess it's like the 70s when kids had to watch out. But anyway, here's the boat launch. Here, see how shallow it is? And there's where you have to stop. That's the end of the ramp right there. So your truck would have to go completely underwater in order to get your boat all the way in. So that's crazy. But here's the rest of it. It could also be a, like a fishing pier but it would have been nice if they had put some sort of a railing so if you brought your grandkids to fish, they wouldn't fall in. It's just a weird deal. And here's the other weird deal. Here, now this ends up being a great place to sit and just think and look at the water because no one's ever here. Um, but this is where you're supposed to back your boat in and pull up here. I don't know if you can tell how far down that is, but you'd have to jump into your boat. It's ridiculous. It can't be done. I know.
know. I don't know. I, we're, I can't tell you how far I'm at, but we're at least five or six feet up. Where, see how that, you pull up to that one, and the people can step right off of there into your boat. This is like, I don't want to fall in, but we're at least five feet above the water. I don't know. It's absolutely crazy. The fact that they were warned is the part that gets me. You're told before they break down, this cannot work. They were told by at least, at least 80% of the people in this area did not want this to be built. And they just kept pushing forward because I guess they just decided they had power and they did. They did. They had enough power to get it done. And now we have this beautiful park to enjoy. So that's all a good thing, right? All right. That's my story. That's my little lesson for today. Don't fear the future because it might not be as bad as you think.